There's two myths revolving around bees. Number one, false bees. Number one, that all false bees are Pakistanis. <laughs> this is a myth. It's a myth. The African brothers here will show you uh, people in Africa who do this. The Arab brothers here will show you people in the Arab world who do this. And this is why Wahhabism is spreading. This is one of the main reasons why Wahhabism is spreading. Because of these false bees. They have done a great favor for the Wahhabi movement. Then, a second myth, that all bees are brave bees. No, in fact, you find the Obandi bees, Shia, Shia bees, you find confused uh, brave bees as well. They may attribute themselves to Al-Imam Ahmed al-Tahan, but they have no link with Al-Imam Ahmed al-Tahan, ta'ala. Those false peers that carry out false practices and are termed as Barevi have done the greatest disservice to Imam Ahmad al Khan because they do not follow any of the fatawa, the verdicts of Imam Ahmad al Khan. You will find the practices, the false practices these peers do, none of them will have a chain in their tariqah to Imam Ahmad al Khan. In fact, the best Sunnis of the subcontinent are the followers of Imam Ahmad al-Dakhan, like al Mufti Akhtar al-Dakhan. To this day, no individual has shown me a video of al Mufti Akhtar al-Dakhan tying jingles on his leg and dancing around graves. Or al Mufti Akhtar al-Dakhan performing practices which they accuse al Imam Ahmad al-Dakhan of doing. Or the other ulama of Barayi, like Diyal Mustafa. Why do not people, apart from the fact that they say videos are haram, so no one can get the videos, but they do not perform these type of practices. So why are these practices being attributed to Imam Ahmad al-Khan, rahmallahu ta'ala? Those people are, those people are performing these practices have no link with Imam Ahmad al-Khan, rahmallahu ta'ala. And this should be made very clear. They only use the name of Imam Ahmad al-Khan, rahmallahu ta'ala, to attract followers. To attract followers.